and good afternoon, good morning, or good evening, depending on where you're watching me from. My name is Faith Mikali. Yes, right now we are at the CBD, and this is where we are going to begin on some of the areas you must visit when you come to Mombasa. I know you've heard about the beaches, you've heard about the white beaches, you've heard about many places, but today we want to take you step by step on a must areas which you must visit when you come to Mombasa. And so today we are the city centre, we are the CBD, we want to show you the first place, the most visited place, monument in this county of Mombasa, and that is Pembe Zandovu. I'm sure you have heard about Pembe Zandovu, and this is where we are at the moment. We want to show you where Pembe Zandovu is. Pembe Zandovu is a Kiswahili word which means the task or the Mombasa task, and it is at the Moy Avenue, along Moy Avenue in Mombasa. It is at the town center and on your way to docks. If you are using public means, you need to understand that when you're going to uh, docks, that is where you get Pembe Zandovu. So, okay, when you're using public means and you, you hear uh, poster docks, poster docks, that is the area, those are the matatus you need to get into. Or if you hear when the, when the Tayari docks, those are the matatus you need to get into. And they will bring you right at the place where we have the two tasks of Pembenbili as it was originally known, and at the moment it is known as Pembenzandovu. CBD of Mombasa, where we are having the tasks, the Pembe Mbili, uh, the Kiswahili one, or Pembe Zandovu, as it is well known in Mombasa. This is a place which is a long way avenue as you go to docks. And on my right side, we have so many shops of selling cars. We have shops which are hire cars. We know Mombasa is known for selling cars and hiring cars. So when you get in Mombasa, the first thing, if you need a good car, if you want to buy a car, if you want to, to hire a car, we have the shops at Longmoy Avenue. And the beauty of it is that they are just next to the task along Moy Avenue. Now, on my right, on my left hand side, we have the Uru Gardens. This is a beautiful garden which I'll be taking you through, a garden which many people come to visit and it is an area you must visit. Now, let me give you a short history about the Pembe Zandovu just behind me. Now, they were done in remembrance of a visit which was done by Queen Elizabeth and they were made in a form of an M. If you look at them, they are just giving on one side, on the right side, we have kind of a, an, a small N, and on the other side, we have the other N. When they are joined together, they make an M, which is M for Mombasa. Now, that is number one thing you need to know about uh, the Pembe Zandovu. Number two thing you need to know about Pembe Zandovu is that this is the most visited and famous monumental in Mombasa. So, when you come to Mombasa, you cannot fail to visit the Pembe Zandovu. And that's why we said that we are bringing to you some of the areas which are a must visit for you when you come to Mombasa. That's it. I want to take us through the other area where we have the Uru Gardens. And so you can join me as we get into Uru Garden. It is just direct opposite. Just, it's not even opposite. It is just next to Pembe Zandovu on your left hand side as you get into Mombasa. And as I said earlier, if you're using public means, you come to Mombasa and you're using public means, then you can take matatus which are, are going to docks. And I know many people ask, why, what is this docks about? This is where we have the ship coming to Mombasa docking at the port. And that's it. Let's get into Uhuru Gardens. We are right at the center of Uru Gardens, which is just 
uh, beside the, the Pembe Zandovu, an area I said it's not very much known, but it's a beautiful place for you to visit. We are at the center of it, very beautiful shade, very beautiful garden. It's a very beautiful garden. Look around, people just having a good time, people walking around, others seated in this place. So you can visit this place and have a great time. When you look at the trees, we have very beautiful trees and giving a very good shade and a very good breeze. So anytime you're in Mombasa, ensure you visit Uhuru Garden, just direct opposite Pembezandovu. Thank you so much. We are going to the next place, which is a must for you to visit while you're in Mombasa. We are along um, Nkrumah Road going down to the Mamangina uh, waterfront and this is Nkrumah Road. The road is very busy. We have so many banks on both sides of the area. We have Kenya Women, we have uh, Absa Bank, we have Cooperative, we have M Oriental. On the other side you can see Arambi Circle. We have Middle East Bank. Kenya and many many other banks and just right away we have cooperative bank so this route has so many banks it is a very busy 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 uh, street in Mombasa town as we go to the waterfront Mamangina waterfront we have the Guardian Bank a very very DTB uh, bank a very very busy street we have here in Mombasa so it tells you that Mombasa is a very serious serious busy town and a city just after the 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 the, the, the uh, some of the banks we come to call consolidated bank and then after that we are getting to the main bank but before we get to the central bank of kenya which is along this route we have different universities we have just left mount kenya university and here we have kenyatta university uh, mombasa branch and now we come we are heading to treasury square Treasury Square is along Nikuruma Road. We have on one side the KCB Bank, then we have the Central Bank of Kenya uh, around this place. Ahead of me, we have Standard Chartered and then Bank of India. So when you're looking for any bank when you're within Mombasa, this is the street you need to follow. Now we are getting into uh, Treasury Square and uh, on my other side of Treasury Square, down after Bank of India, we go straight to Fort Jesus, which will be showing you some other time. But now on my left, is it left? This is left. Eh? On my left hand side, we have the county government offices as we go down to the state house uh, in Mombasa. So. Mombasa is a beautiful city. You can't miss to look at these places we are mentioning to you as you visit Mombasa. So now we have entered the Mamangina Drive right we are right in mamangina drive just immediately after when you get into mamangina drive you find the kenya wildlife services their offices their coastal conservation headquarters are here then next we have uhuru nakazi building this is a building which uh, occupies uh, the occupants are most of them the county government offices and also the national government offices this is a very beautiful it has very beautiful scenery sceneries the environment is quite cool, amazing. Driving along this place, you just enjoy your drive. Just enjoy your drive because there's no traffic. There's nothing but beauty, beauty, beauty around you. Now, 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 here we are. We have that route. That gate takes you to Gorilla Base. It's a Gorilla Base, eh? <laughs> it's a prayer center in Mombasa. A lot, a lot of things have happened. One of the great men of God in Mombasa called uh, Bishop Lai, I'm a Pastor Lai, uh, he has a great testimony about the area when he was starting his, uh, his, uh, his ministry here in Mombasa. He says it's one of the areas where he got to uh, seek the face of God and uh, hear the Lord speak to him. We'll be showing you the place as well. So let's get down and see what is happening at Mamangina. 
Yes, now we are here at Mamangina Waterfront and we are at the first site. This is just after State House, as we have shown you. And so this is an area which is very beautiful. If you want the snacks which are done in Mombasa, this is the place to find them. And they do them all along the, Momba, uh, the, the, the uh, Mamangina Waterfront. And so now I just want to visit one of the uh, vendors around this place. And there's something they have decided to sell for me. And this is a snack you cannot fail to enjoy when you come to Mombasa. Let's go and see. ukiweka hivi hizi ni za waru si ndio hizi ni za potato sasa nikitaka ni nini naekewa hapa nini na nini hii tumesema ni chumvi chumvi ya kawaida tu eh pilipili imetengenezwa vipi hii imetakusagwa ni nyinyi wenyewe mwasaga ama mnunuo ikiwa imesagwa okay mnunuo ikiwa imesagwa eh ukwaju ile ya kawaida ukwaju ya kawaida ile inatengeneza hata juisi ya ukwaju so hii inaweza kuwa ni juisi ya ukwaju karibu ama imekaribiana hapo lakini Hii umeweka nini na nini? Haina sukari tu. Okay. Uh -huh. Nini nyingine? Limao. Kuna limao. Okay. Mwacha siku hii fresh na wewe. So, pia unaweka limao. So inategemea it depends with what you want in your snack. You can choose to have the uh, the salt, you can choose to have pilipili mm. and you can also choose to have uh umesema hii ni nini? Ukwaju or this is tamarind yeah. it's called tamarind eh? or you have a lemon on your snack so that's what you need to put when you are here you can make a choice to have your snack the way you want it sasa hii viazi waila na nini viazi mhm mm ama wala tu hivyo wala hivyo yani ukichanganya hivi ukichanganya hivyo imetosha okay mimi nataka unieke uh, unieke hii inaitwaje hii ukwaju wewe unieke ukwaju basi hivyo ndivyo mambo yalivyo mombasani ya kwamba unaweka ukwaju kwa potatoes na utaniekea zingine za za muhogo ni wapi ule rafiki yangu wa nini ndo huyo ndo huyo kweli katia katia na dafu pia niapigwe picha vizuri we also have madafu. Madafu is one of the Is it a fruit? Inakuwa it's a fruit eh? It's one of the fruits you can only find it at the coast. So niko na madafu hapa. Uh, nasikia kuna ile changa na kuna, kuna ile nzee. Tofauti yake ni nini? Hii rambi rambi hii. Hii rambi rambi ndio kusema nini? Rambi rambi daf changa. Hii ni daf changa. Sasa ina nini? Na nini ndani yake? Hii inasaidia kuosha kidney. Hii maji yake. Aha, maji yake yasaidia kuosha kidney. Uh-huh. Uh, so we have madafu here this is coconut juice so hii coconut juice moichukua wakati gani kwa sababu kuna ile coconut nyingine ambayo ime ime ile imekoma hii ikiwa changa okay au ikiwa na mwezi mmoja so if you want the one which is juicy you ask kwa ile ambayo ni changa ile ambayo ni changa itakupatia uh, uh, juice mzuri na wanasema ya kwamba hiyo juice inakusaidia katika kuosha kidney, kuosha damu na pia kuna e white part. Eh? There's something inside here which is the white uh, the white bit uh, of uh, of uh, e 
madafu ambayo ni changa ambayo nasikia inakupea nguvu sijaelewa ni nguvu gani lakini inakaa inakuongeza nguvu mwilini wewe ni utachagua utaka nguvu gani lakini nguvu zote unapata kutoka kwa madafu so that's it we are here at Mamangina will be showing you the other places let me just enjoy my madafu and my hizi uh, zaitwaje kwa Kiswahili crips crips Kiswahili Kiswahili kachiri kachiri au makarikari hizi ni crips sasa yeah. kwa kizungu hizi zaitwa crips zile ambazo mnanunua kule dukani hapa zaitwa kachiri kachiri kiduruma eh uh-huh. kiduruma zaitwaje zaitwa makarikari basi kiduruma yaitwa makarikari ningependa kujua nani mwingine yuko hapa ambaye ni wa tribe nyingine ni waduruma tu uh-huh. yeah, yeah. Ah, ndio <laughs> tuone, ndio tuone. <laughs> Yakaa hapa duka ni kubwa. Duka ni kubwa kabisa. <laughs> so nishike hapa. Kuna uh-huh. viazi tamu na uh-huh. mahindi. Sasa viazi tamu moto wapi? Shambani. Moto wa shambani. Yeah. Shamba zenu ziko wapi? Huko kwa ile county. Mhm. Napanda hii. Uh-huh. Hii ni viazi tamu yatoka shambani. Mhm. Uh-huh na hii ni msajia kama chakula unaweza uh-huh. kunywa na dafu kama Kale soda mhm uh-huh. alafu hii ni unaweza kunywa nayo pia asubuhi yeah. breakfast yeah. breakfast yes. okay yeah. na hii mahindi nayo unaweza yani mahindi choma ile ya kawaida yeah. so hizi zatoka kwale yeah. shambani kwale. kwenu yeah. okay yeah duka kubwa hili they are saying it's a whole cell when you come here you get everything for your breakfast for your lunch for your enjoyment and then after you have bought all the, for your biting yes rafiki yangu ananiambia even for your biting you get everything from this place so i just want to show you where we are, we are going to sit for you to be able to enjoy madafu katika hii sehemu ambayo iko karibu na state house so let's go mamangina waterfront so let's go ziko wapi kachiri zangu Nipe hizi kwanza. Now we have that small is it a is it a, ship, a boat? We have we have that small boat. I hear that that's the boat which carries uh, the pilot who is going to take the ship on the other side to bring it to the shore or to come and dock. So tuko na hiyo 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 boat kidogo ambayo imeendea anaitwa rubani rubani wa wa, wa meli kutoka ule upande mwingine na kumleta so imeenda ime drop uh, yule rubani alafu imerudi on the other side of the sea as you can see we have some uh, ship actually there are four they look like there are four we have one on the far end we have uh, other two there are some small ones here i don't know if there are ship ama zinakaje utu tuko hapa tunini Utuni boats eh? we have small boats here and then we have the ship on the other side these ship are supposed to come and dock at the Kilindini aba and then they'll pass through Mamangina that's why i said the Mamangina waterfront gives you a view of the ship when they are getting to come to Mombasa to dock so as i've told you this is a very beautiful place the county government of Mombasa has even given us a place where you can sit down and enjoy your snacks so here it's free you can buy the snacks from this place because there are so many places where you can buy the snacks and you have a place for you to sit you can make a choice to sit on these already made tables or uh, is it seats the already made seats or you can just park your car as we have some of the guys who have parked around and enjoy the breeze now this place gives you a very beautiful number one scenario as i've said you see the ocean you have a very good view of the ocean when you look on the other side of it you see that is the other side of the ferry the south coast where we have uh, I, I hear that is sherry beach i hear that is sherry beach so from this point you can see so many things you can enjoy the view of the ocean which gives you a view to in infinity you cannot see the end of this as you sit here and enjoy your snack in Mombasa at the Mombasa waterfront so we keep on saying that this is a place you cannot miss to visit when you come to Mombasa yes i told you beautiful scenarios we are so lucky to have a ship which is passing just behind us these are the scenarios you get at Mamangina waterfront it's beautiful amazing just look at what it is you know getting a very good view as it gets to go and dock at Kilindini Aba